Well, hello guys, and welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, Simmer Shy Mommy here, and I am back to do another world review. Okay, um, I got a lot of positive feedback from my last world review one, and I've been dying to do another one along as my along with my Let's Play series just because I love going into new worlds and seeing what other players can create and we're like if they're good which they like almost always are why not help other simmers like see into that so um I'm basically just gonna pick back up when this town here loads well actually no. Okay, one second. Here we are, and I apologize if I sound like totally out of sorts. I'm actually probably coming down with a little cold, cold, cold. Uh, but whatever. I was trying to see if I could just like delete one real quick, but I can't. So here we are. I'm going to be doing an overview of Everything Island 2 okay you can tell any story you want in this medium-sized versatile world that has everything all jobs and venues up to university life neighborhoods include a seedy slum coastal cottages rolling farmland lakeside sub suburbans stately victorians and moderns just to name a few Plenty of starters and empty lots too. No CC, no stuff packs, uh, more stuff, all lots made by Ruthless underscore KK or EA. So um, basically this is the newest one that's come out because there's an Everything Island and there's an Everything Island 2. So we'll just see like how it looks with the new updates and everything like that. Alright, I'll pick up when we get in. All right, Simmers, and we are here. So this is Everything Island 2. The link, of course, will be in the description below. But the first overview, you can definitely tell that it has expansions off the back. Um, nice little downtown area. Not too big, not too small. It's actually a very pleasant one, if you ask me. It is a similar... Well, a little similar to Beach City downtown area, which is, let's say, a world review or overview. And there's the actor, plum bob, picture, blah, blah, blah. But I believe this is stuff that we came with, with Supernatural. So you can see nice little houses and everything. And it's not too big. It's not, you have a city and more urban and farm life over there ah we have some nice houses though you have a lot of houses like if you are looking for a legacy world to play in this is looking like a good one and your lot would be right here so you can overlook the town in its entirety you know it's beauty and wonders and magnificence and whatever so, you know what I'm going to do here. Um, basically going to just choose some... Oh, okay. First of all, this is not a populated world. There may be a saved file on it that has been uploaded. But, uh, you know, clearly I did not get that, you know. It'd be too much, like, right? So, I'm going to grab Simmer here. Simmer Shy Mommy. And I'm going to plop her into... Ooh, one of these starter homes and this one is a more elaborate kind of a starter home this is one that I would like if you don't mind furnishing because to buy this unfurnished you would probably need just like another a two sim household because they give you a certain amount of money per household Oops. okay here is the first starter home that I will show um even though you know the windows and doors don't really want to cooperate with me right now this is looking to be the most oh see there you go um the most realistic 
starter home in my eyes that I have seen because uh, I've seen houses like this and I love it on Sims when I can actually identify with certain houses and look at this look at the architecture of the house the way the roofs are I, I don't know I'm you know I'm a geek for this kind of simple stuff so the colors with the siding and the brick and the, I forgot what that material is called. Some type of roof paneling, but I like it. I really do. Let's check it out inside. Oh, okay. First floor. See, very simple. Very simple, but different. Like, I don't use this wallpaper. Do you use this wallpaper? I, I don't. <laughs> like, it has a very, very, very calming a uh, color scheme to it in a very open area just the necessities uh, sorry necessities so you have a TV oh look at the little newspaper oh I'll cut it out you guys I'm doing too much <laughs> um, a very simple kitchen like for me it's a very open very light area that lets in a lot of sunlight and you know what that is perfect for most of my sims so this would be amazing even if I did have to furnish it myself you know you can basically tell where to put the furniture you can definitely change some things around but it's simple I love that I love that um, so you have one two bedrooms up here so this is obviously the main bedroom you could probably add a dresser or whatever else you would like to once you sim start making some uh, moolah and you have very you have two full bathrooms so that's perfect for a starter home you can get started with the family right away so that was you know really really nice and I don't know why I just didn't plop her into it I got so excited Ooh, okay let's hop over here okay here we have the second little uh starter home here this one is a very uh i don't know what it is it's a very earth toned type of i don't know what to categorize this as but i like it okay so oh gosh oh gosh i should really have turned those off but um you know it's very simple a uh, bathroom you have a full bathroom uh, very basic kitchen, uh, very basic, basic living room, but you definitely have room to expand or have room to add different things that you may want or may need. As a nice little porch too, which I actually find very cute. That you can have your own little deck out here. You can put a grill and just sit, relax, a rocking chair. Get to know your neighbors. Go fishing in the ponds. That's what my sons would do if they lived here. I'd throw a dive spot in there somewhere. I don't know. I don't know. But there's a lot you can do. So, you know, I like it. I like this house. A very eccentric sim, I believe, will like this house. Because it really has like a, a tin roof. And you can tell like the color is supposed to be like maybe a little rusted. As is the door. You know? So very very cute very cozy very creative it definitely has the three C's oh and there is a salon right down the street this would be perfect 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 for anybody who wanted to get into that profession or that career this is probably the uh it's called the Gators Glamorama Glamorama I think that's how you say it where you can join the stylist profession and it's very basic very you don't have a lot of competition you basically if you wanted to do that profession you would take all the clients because they will automatically come to you if the other stylist isn't there you can build up your clientele very quickly I wish you could do a tattoo or career and whatnot but it's understandable but eh, it's it's nice it has a full register now a general store register which is even more clever I like it I like it I like it a lot 
it's nice and it has like a little back door exit and you can dumpster dive so as of the look to it it looks like something you could uh it looks like something with that you will find in true blood like it'll be out in that area somewhere i don't know maybe it's just me what else do we have i want to like kind of get to show you guys stuff from different expansion packs and not just basic houses and everything but it has uh the wrecking yard hangout and the junkyard and the wet gypsy cabin so if you have that type of sim then you know definitely this is a great area for the simplest of sims you have things to do outside and inside just basically in your own backyard and convenience to me and my sims because I tend to change gameplay a lot so that'd be awesome for me here's one of these good old lots from University and it's the cosmic com comics I'm sorry you guys kind of Family. I just woke up from a nap <laughs> but this is um, something that I like to see I like to see integrated expansion packs within a world I do um, alright so this is cosmic cosmic comics say that five times fast without killing yourself <laughs> but you know it looks it looks wonderful it looks like something you will find in Seattle I don't know that's what I see when I look at it I totally see a Seattle San Francisco type of road thing going on whatever I'm babbling so it has three floors two arcade machines <laughs> some play testing bowls which I love to see why not um, some brain enhancement machines and a science machine and there is a garbage disposal you can grab a quick meal so clearly everything works so that's wonderful um, I really like the different things that are going on like the decor and how it changes so rapidly it's very interesting you won't get bored in here it's like it keeps you focused on it and not other things if that makes any sense to anybody you can play chess arcades whoop, 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 whoop. <laughs> I don't know what happened and there's a you know a vending machine wonderful so go down one more and you have these awesome bookshelves which look really cute by the way the little bookshelves that came with the university for the comic shop and I'm pretty sure this is a Rowan Ten Row Tengen. I'm not even sure about that word, but you buy comic books from there. And I believe if your sim or child, because children can do it too, write a comic book, you can possibly cos um consign it here or purchase it here and whatnot. So overall I really like the lot. On to the next one. Okay, this is the Hawk and Hounds Pub. Okay, and it is definitely giving off that pub vibe with the tavern doors and barrel. It's the essence and the ambiance of a pub is definitely there and that's what I like. I love it, love it, love it, people. You don't even understand. But it's not it's not letting me see inside of it. So here we go. Um, top floor. It has some very, very creative styled bathrooms here the very like that fit in and it's I love it like oh my gosh like uh I'm done I'm I'm smitten with this and you have some decor items in there but you know uh, uh just stop be still my beating heart you guys I love the basic detail 
that go into things like that because it shows so much of the creator and how much they enjoy this game and how much they want you to enjoy this game and personally that makes me feel special somebody goes through all this just so i have extra to do i mean like i pay homage um i i love you weird anyway you can come and play these small little arcade machines grab you a drink probably get something to eat it's it's wonderful i love it this is definitely turning into a town that i would love to play in like even if i had to play on eh's terms and wait for it to populate in the way that it does like to me that'd be fine i it would so okay i'm over here like why can't i go anywhere it's probably because i opened this Sorry. all right and on to the next okay for all you artistic simmers out here if you download and play in this world i'm pretty sure that you will love this building first of all the architecture of it is just amazing i'm not sure why they came out very robotic but hey whatever let's go it's very abstract in my eyes it's very look deep within and see what you can figure out think out of the box more if you will so a very open area you have your sculptures you have your pictures so it serves the purpose of the art gallery of course have easels drawing boards sculpting stations and if you have the new art prism or the prism art studio you can definitely throw in a, a glass blowing machine and definitely have a place to do that at without having it come out of your sims pocket well initially anyway so tons of little sculptures to keep your little simmies busy um a dance floor because you know when you're out looking at art you of course want to drink and dance why not this seems like a fun town like anything can happen anywhere and before I like zoom back out to change venues and whatnot, this park is just a very, it just caught my eye. Like it's, it's beautiful, it has geysers, very pretty green, but not too green, legacy statue. It's beautiful. You can play golf. That'd be fun in the middle of the town, breaking everybody's windows. <laughs> come out on a nice day play horseshoes chess nice and for all you pet lovers out there your sims can be here and your sims pets could be here enjoying their little park and having fun on their own and stuff so it's interactive all the way across the board like most definitely all right and on to the next okay and here we have a little pier oh it's just like a small cottage getaway type thing it's uh the inspiration point beach so this is a beach lot or at least like it you know it leads down to the beach you can have bonfire parties so this would be great to come out and fish and suntan and have a bonfire party or a day for the family or a day for your teens I like it. Um, things to do outside. And what does it have? it have? Ping pong and darts and arcades. And of course, lovely, lovely, very quaint bathrooms. So as far as activities, you're really set up here. Like you are. Here is the school and stadium. Okay. Yeah. See, I'm in love now. Like when you have your Sims children get out of school or mom and dad is a doctor and they don't get off till late. Kids don't have to go straight home, but they usually do if they don't have this. Okay, um, a very nice little playground. You can just imagine how recess will be when your Sims are at school and they have everything from toddlers can play to grade school to high schoolers can hang out and everybody can jump on trampoline like um we can check out the firehouse 
Okay, the firehouse, which is uh, right off of downtown, which seems to be a very good spot for it. Here you have the basic bunkers for the firemen, girls, and men bathrooms. It's it. I love it. I love it. Um, some foosball, you know, a wine after a three alarm fire, play a game, bathroom, paint, look out for fires. <laughs> There's an office for, you know, like probably the chief. And here's where they keep track of everything, you know. Cute little stuff like that. And the car for the firemen. And of course, the Woo Woo 4000. <laughs> and what is a fire station without a scrap inventor's bench? But this house catches my eye just for some fact that it looks very beautiful. When I see this house, I see uh, an adult couple with their child moving out, going to university, and they live here and spend their days just resting and enjoying life. This seems like one of those very calming homes. So top floor, you have a, a bedroom right here, a nursery. It, okay, so screw what I just said. This is darn family house. Like, this is that we get it popping, we can get anything done type of house. <laughs> you have a, a a very master, master-ish bedroom, but it's lovely. You got a full bathroom right here, ready to potty train the little ones. A beautiful nursery. It has the basic essentials. You can definitely add what you want, like the changing stable. Changing stable? You don't have stables for children. I'm sorry, guys. Very decent room for kids. They have the football and the baseball, which are very, which are interactive. I just see this as a room for boys. But if you have girls, you can totally change the color scheme, change the theme of the room to fit that. And, and then you have... This smaller room right here, which will probably be for the first team that you have. Sit here. They have a place for pets. Pet-friendly houses. A lot about these worlds that I'm starting to appreciate is that you never know how your gameplay will lead you. So having things like this that just incorporate every little thing gives you even more of a better possibility to enjoy the Sims to the fullest. So you come down and you have a very lovely, lovely, I mean lovely, quaint sitting area, living room, family space, fireplace, and TV, chess, and I, uh, I love this house, you guys. Like, it's houses like this that make me want the entire town, like, quite honestly. And look at this kitchen, this kitchen. Very simple, very elegant, but you can get things done. This is a breathtaking house. Like most people, when they download worlds, they don't realize that somebody took the time to make this house look so relatable to real life that you can feel the essence of a family really growing up here and really making things happen. And that's the best part about The Sims to me. I promise you, it is. All right, guys, I think I'm going to be ending all of my overview and world reviews with the uh, community pools because that seems to me at least to be the, the ones that I love the best, like truly, truly, because this is called. I don't know if they'll tell me. It's called the Splash Zone Swim and Play. Okay? So, clearly, your Sims come in through this lovely little entrance here. You have the pool rules. So, you definitely know what to do and what not to do. If they have any special camp activities going on in the summer, you'll probably... Figure that out right here. You can definitely ride your bike. It's a very eco-friendly lot. As you can see, the bright colors and flowers. and It's just all the, right, all the way around inviting. Okay? Inside, you have the showers. Nothing, 
And I think basic, when you come here, they want to keep you outside. Enjoy the fresh air. Get to know your, your townies a little bit more. You know? So, uh, very quaint bathrooms. I think uh, public pool bathrooms look like this just about. Not everywhere, of course. Trust me, definitely not everywhere. But it's... It's a lot to do here. You can play hopscotch, old and young, okay? You can definitely do a water slide, which will most likely be popular. You can even lounge by the pool, you know, catch some sun. You don't have to be at the beach. Say you only got 10 minutes and you don't want to drive out to the beach. You come here and you spend a little time. That's it. Parents can swim, teenagers, and the little kiddie pool, which I presume this to be. It's like you get more advanced with each pool but they are beautiful beautiful pools you can also take out the uh, hopscotch board if you wanted to add a what is it a hot tub or it's other things you can do but like I wouldn't even change a thing I would let my sims here just come and have fun you can send the kids out for a day say mom and dad want to just get the house together they, the kids been running around all week it's the weekend. Kick them out the house. Send them here and let them have a blast and know that they'll be safe within the city lines, okay? So, as for this world, it has so much to do if you're always looking for new gameplay. Like I said, this is definitely a world that you can look into. You can do anything. Anything and everything that you want to do can be done here. I definitely recommend this world. There is nothing that you can't do with this world. So definitely check it out. The link is, like I said, in the description box below. This is definitely a world worth downloading. Look at this. Little piers and stuff. Um, I'm, I'm done because I'm tripping out. Okay, well... I truly hope that you enjoyed this review slash overview. I hope I didn't ramble too much. Like, because if I could, I would show you every individual lot. But I don't want to ruin the surprise for you. So, come uh, download this world. It's not a huge, gigantic world. It's not. Uh, so, just come. Check it out. Rate, comment, subscribe. If you download this. Thumbs up, recommend it. All right. Happy simming and have a summerific day, everybody. Bye.